Say when. Ready. You want to hear something funny? <laughs> On two occasions, I've had the, the fire department run into something. One was at a school, one was at work, and go, oh, it's you. <laughs> Welcome to my workshop, my favorite place on the planet. It's the accumulation of a lifelong of hobbies. I've never, never lost a hobby. Colin, the other compressor wasn't working. Chemistry, high voltage, explosives. These are not your, your hobby shop model rockets. And you have to call the FAA to launch that. Danger. I mean, one of the things that I love about my job is that it's actually tying in my hobby interests and playful interests in building things with software and the evolution of the cloud and, and the Internet of Things. It's like the culmination of 30 years of nerding around is all coming together right now. I worked on all three of the, the game processors for the, the major game machines. Think about how gaming has pushed storage, bandwidth, uh, graphics processing, all the kind of things that we use for business and scientific was all done for fun. It was all done for play. And so, so play is not something you add on to work. It's a great driver of innovation. Always has been. I think the play is, is like the source of new thinking. You know, you get in such a rut if you just try to do the same thing every day. Sometimes you just got to break it up. I'm sure some kids say, hey dad, can we go throw around a baseball? My kids used to say, hey dad, can we go blow something up? This is one of my favorite boxes. These are accidents. Oops. I always keep these as kind of a recollection of things that have gone wrong because you always learn from them. Ah, look at that. Said circuit breaker, the one that almost burnt down my house. And you get some occasional failures, but they're spectacular. They're at least they're my failures. When I look around at my most senior technical peers, I would have to say that the ones who have maintained that kind of playful engagement are the ones who are certainly the happiest, but I would argue that they're the most productive. Sometimes you can't just head straight ahead. I mean, you gotta kind of sign it, think sideways. You gotta let your mind wander. No better way of doing that than goofing off. Do it again, do it again! No. <laughs>